Hello, my sweet friends, and welcome to 30 Days of Yoga Camp. It's day eight, and we're gonna do the opposite of titillate. We're gonna chillax. <laughs> the mantra today is I choose. So get into something comfy, grab a pillow, and let's get started. begin in a nice comfortable seat of your choice. So you can be on the knees, you can be in Sukhasan here with the ankles crossed. Um, find a position that you can sit up nice and tall in. And once you've made a choice and lengthened up to the crown of the head, go ahead and close your eyes. And give yourself permission to start today off by simply just being. Just sit. We slowly begin to invite the mind to focus in on the present moment. We invite the breath to slowly deepen, elongate. And we give ourselves permission to just let go, not do anything, but just to simply be here, present now. And if you're the type of person who's always on the go, this could be a little bit challenging for you. But that's why we're here. That's what day eight is all about. And nice and slow, drop the chin to the chest, wherever you are, chin to chest. Then nice and slow, right ear over right shoulder. Drop the chin to the chest, left ear over left shoulder. And dropping through to center, chin to chest. Slowly carve a line with your nose, lift your chin up. Big inhale in here. Exhale, drop the chin parallel to the earth. And we'll bring the palms to either the knees or to the tops of the thighs. So this should work in any comfortable seat that you chose. Inhale, loop the shoulders, begin to grow tall and long through the front body. So you open up through the chest. Then exhale, rounding through the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, lengthen, lift. Open. And exhale, rounding. And this is your spinal flex today, your warm up, so let it grow. And let it inspire other movement. So if you find a catch, you might rock there a little bit. If you find you want to move in a circle, you know that coffee grinder move that I love, give that a try. If you find you just want to sway a little back and forth like an awesome person that you are, please do. So linger in the places that feel good to linger in a little bit and then find another place to explore. Then slowly we'll come back to center and then stack head over heart, heart over pelvis. Okay, left palm can stay wherever it is on the knee or the thigh. And we're gonna send the right fingertips out. Once again, drop the chin to the chest and then take your right ear over your right shoulder. Anchor down through your left elbow. Make sure you're not finding any tension in the right shoulder. And then slowly we're gonna flip the right palm up and bring it all the way up just to rest gently on the side of the left head here, maybe on the ear. No need to do anything here, just be, just let natural weight of your hand um, rest here and we breathe. Great, gently release. 
Slowly we'll come back, lift all the way up to center, chin parallel to the earth. Then we'll switch to the other side. Right hand comes to rest. Left fingertips reach down. Then chin to chest. Breathe into the back of the neck here. Nice stretch. And then left ear over left shoulder. So keep that right shoulder grounding down, elbow down. And when you're ready, flip the left palm, bring it up and over to rest on the right ear or right temple. Try to soften through your sensory organs. So if you know uh, you're like prone to clenching the jaw or the forehead or something, let's keep that nice and soft today. Use today's practice as an opportunity to soften in those areas. Take one more breath here. And then gently release. Head comes back to center. Awesome. Close your eyes for a second. Lengthen through the crown of the head. Good. Then draw the palms together at the heart. Anjali Mudra. So the palms are together in prayer. We gently bow the head to the heart, the mind intelligence to the body intelligence. And the affirmation or the mantra today, I think it's awesome. I choose. So take a second here to finish that sentence. I choose. I choose to be at peace. I choose to find ease. I choose to finish this whole video and take some time for myself. Whatever it is, maybe it's really intricate for you today. and Maybe it's just um, simple. But take a second to find it for you, whatever it is today. I choose. Good, then repeat it to yourself, confirm it, consider it already done, feel. Notice what it feels like to consider that already done. Whatever you have chosen, it's already, it already is. It's already done. And then we'll add a little breath to it, just for a little support, just in case. Awesome. Then we'll slowly release, sit up nice and tall. Inhale, squeeze the shoulders up to the ears. And exhale, gliding the shoulder blades down the back body. Awesome, two more times like that. Inhale, squeeze and lift. Mm, rinse it all away, exhale. Ah, I'm feeling it today, obviously. <laughs> Inhale, reach, squeeze. And exhale, let it go. Good, we're gonna send the legs out long. Go ahead and grab your pillow, your pilla. My first grade teacher used to say poem, poem and pilla. She probably said potato too. Ain't nothing wrong with that, just, okay. Just sharing my life with you. Okay, so take your pillow. If it's like a flimsy pillow like mine, you might even double up here. So we're wanting to really hug it up to the belly and to the hip creases. Ooh, I love day eight. Okay, if you want to add a little extra lift in the hips here, you can, but hug that little baby right up to your belly, right up to your hip creases, and then <clears throat> a little brightness through the feet, so yogi's choice, you can point the toes or keep them flexed. I'm giving myself some space today, so rather than zipping up, I'm bringing my heels in line with my hip points. Ready? Let's go. Inhale, lift your heart, your chest. Exhale, crawl your fingertips, your palms all the way out. So you should have a nice little support here to round over eventually. Maybe you grab the feet, maybe not. Inhale, extend, look forward. And then exhale, melt it down. Take a couple quiet deep breaths here and enjoy. So make sure you're breathing here deep. If there's anything that's been stressing you out or worrying you, making you fret, choose to let it go. Stay calm, give your thinking mind a rest. Tuck the chin into the chest, one more breath here. And then nice and easy, we'll slowly begin to unravel. 
softening through the feet. And then check it out. We're gonna slowly, slowly, slowly take the pillow, which is right here, and bring it behind our one core check-in of the day. So it's gonna obviously vary on your pillow, but don't, try not to be too uh, meticulous about this. Just have a little fun with it. As you slowly bring the heels together and slowly lower down. Whoa. Oh yeah. And then me, your humble yoga guide, makes a quick adjustment. Okay, great. And then we come to flat back. Ah, oh, nice. So get comfy here. We're just gonna be here for a little bit, so don't get too comfy. <laughs> and just take a second to close your eyes and notice how you feel. Let the weight of your body sink deep into the earth and bring the hands to the belly. So it might seem like this is not productive because you're not doing chaturangas, you're not doing core work. But we need to find balance in our practice too. We need to remember that it's not always the fastest thing or the loudest thing or the hardest thing that makes a difference. This can be intense too, just laying here and being present with your feelings. And then you might take this second now to again, repeat the mantra, I choose whatever you've chosen today, repeat it to yourself. And slowly we'll bring the heels together and inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. So today we're doing mountain pose uh, reclined. So pressing into the heels strong, firming through the tops of the thigh bones, reaching the fingertips back and then finding a little sensation in the pelvis that feels connected. So if you're just kind of blah there, you might just play. I don't want to say what to do because it'll be a little different for everyone here. I've come to realize that as my body changes. So when you feel like you have it, close your eyes and press your feet into an imaginary wall or an imaginary earth. Again, reclined Tadasana here. Spread the fingertips super wide. Draw your shoulder blades in and together, your shoulders down into socket. One more deep breath here, inhale. Then exhale slowly, bringing the knees up in towards the heart and wrapping the arms around shins. Take your time. <clears throat> so what if we were to be here for the rest of our practice today? Could you find what feels good here? Massaging through the sacrum, the hips, the lower back body, the coccyx. You might draw circles. You might just rock gently left to right. You might just find stillness here and breathe. Feel supported by the earth. Take one more breath. And then hold onto the right knee and send the left leg out long. Go ahead and release the left heel to the earth. Head to knee pose. Inhale in, loop the shoulders. Exhale, bring your nose up towards your knee. So they seriously call this wind relieving pose. That's all. <laughs> One more breath here, firm in the left leg. You know that, big breath in. Then exhale, release, head to pillow. Yeah, that's what's up. And then we switch. Loop the shoulders, take a big breath in. When you're ready, exhale, peel the head, the neck, the shoulders up, nose to knee. So you do wanna do this starting with the right side for maximum effect. To find out why you, why you can check out the uh, foundations video here on YouTube, but it's always great in terms of your internal organs. So start on the right, end with the left. One more breath, and then exhale, release. Great. Go ahead and bring the sole of the left foot to the ground here, and then bring the right knee up to meet the left. Supta Baddha Konasana. Just five breaths here to allow gravity to dance with the body. Bring the base of your palms to the hip creases here or your thumbs and just give it a little push down. Feels good. Should feel really great after all the hard work you've been doing. We are now 
through one week of yoga camp. Can you believe it? It's so amazing. Way to show up for yourself. I think there's nothing more beautiful than showing up for yourself and cultivating a home yoga practice is a great way to do that. So really nice work, everyone. Take one more breath here. Maybe find a little stillness. Great. And then we'll slowly peel the knees up and bring them together. And then you're just gonna turn onto your side, any side. Hike the knees up towards your heart. A little bit of uh, spinal flex even here in fetal pose. Mm, feels so good. <laughs> And close your eyes and connect to your breath. This is yoga too. Uniting with your breath, connecting with the sensations of your body. Super mindful of everything here. And don't forget to enjoy. Then nice and easy, we'll make our way up to seated. Take your time getting there. Leave thy pillow there for later. And we'll come to a nice cross-legged position. Left hand to the right knee. Right fingertips behind. Just a gentle twist here as you inhale. Lift up and over. Exhale, journey into your twist. I don't know why I said over. Sorry. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, twist. Then keep the left palm where it is, my friends. Ground down through the tops of the thighs. And nice and soft and easy, we're going to reach the right fingertips up. And then bring them over towards the left. So we're grounding down here, kind of anchoring down with the left palm and the right knee. And then reaching, really reaching with the right fingertips. Close your eyes, plug your shoulders in, just like you did in that reclined Tadasana, and breathe. Then on an exhale, bring the right hand to the left kneecap, chin to chest, round the spine. And then inhale, blossom, let everything open. Let me do the same thing on the other side. Right hand to left kneecap, left fingertips behind. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, journey into your twist. Close your eyes here and visualize your spine. Such a wonderful thing to tend to the spine in this way, especially for 30 days. Wowie zowie, game changer. Take one more breath here. And then we'll keep the right hand where it is and release the left fingertips, bringing them all the way up and over side body stretch. So you may not go as far as you normally do here, and that's because we're playing with a little resistance here, a little balance. So grounding down through the left thigh and reaching, reaching. Shoulders relax. Take a deep breath in. Lean back into it. And then exhale. Left palm to right knee. We round forward, chin to chest. And then on your next breath, let it blossom. Reach everything. Little big you know, good morning stretch here, whether you're doing it in the morning or not, just nice stretch here. Awesome. Fingertips come to your sides. Take a deep breath in. And long breath out. Great. We're going to send one leg out. Let's do the right leg. Left heel in, one leg out. We're going to take the right hand to the top of the left thigh or to the top of the hip, hip crease here. Point or flex, yogi's choice with your right toes. And then nice and easy, we'll sweep the left fingertips all the way up and over. Find that same resistance that you just had in cross-legged here. Just play, drawing shoulders away, trying to keep the heart open. So a lot going on, firming down through the right thigh bone. Inhale in. Exhale, counter twist, left fingertips behind. We look past the left shoulder. Great, gently release to center. Bring the right foot in to meet the left. Cobbler's pose, grab the ankles here, loop the shoulders, press into the earth, your sitting bones and grow up nice and tall through the spine. 
Anchor down, quads heavy here as you ground down through the tops of the thighs. And then maybe you interlace the fingertips around the toes here. Maybe you open the feet like a book. What you reading? I love it when people ask me what I'm reading because I'm always embarrassed. I'm like, uh, I'm either reading like Anthony Bourdain's book or <laughs> it's not a yoga book. <laughs> or is it? That's for us to discover. What? Okay. Great. Now there are going to be a million comments about Anthony Bourdain, which is fine with me. I like him. I dig. Okay, here we go. One more breath in Bharakanasana. And then we'll release. Right heel comes in, left leg goes out long. Take the left hand this time, bring it to the top of the right thigh or the top of the hip crease. And then nice and easy, we'll reach the right fingertips all the way up and over. Now, turtle shell wants to come out here. So open up, pull the right shoulder in. Lift your heart, lean back into it, lengthen through the crown. Inhale in, exhale, counter twist. So this day is so great if you work at a desk. So nice, so good. It was good for everyone. Great, then we'll gently release. Sole of the left foot comes in to meet the right. Again, Padakanasana. This time with the forward fold, so take your time getting there. You might experiment bringing the palms, excuse me, the thumbs to the arches of the feet and just giving yourself a little massage there. And opening the feet like a book here. And then when you're ready, we'll inhale, loop the shoulders, open the chest, the heart, and exhale, send it forward. Breathe here. Try to keep length in the spine here, my friends. We're gonna round it over in just a second. So if you're already down there, maybe come up for a couple breaths. Just staying connected to that line from the crown to the tail. You might use the elbows. This isn't for everyone, but you might use the elbows to press gently on the inner thighs. Tap into the breath here. And then we'll round it over, letting the weight of the head go. And slowly we'll release, nice and easy. Swim the fingertips behind, bring the knees together, soles of the feet come to the mat. A little windshield wiper here, so you're gonna lean back and then just take the knees over to one side. <sighs> Should feel good. Breathing into the front of that right hip crease or whatever, depends which side you went on. I'm trying to keep it easy breezy today, you know. Let the brain take a rest and just find what feels good here in the body uh, for a little Deeper stretch, you might cross the left ankle over the top of the right. You can also come on to the elbows here, but you need to be really mindful, my friends. Nice and easy. Be really mindful there. Okay, and then through center. But just in case, sometimes some people will come here and they won't feel that stretch here. So when you don't feel that stretch, you can maybe cross the ankle or lower on to the forearms. Be nice. And mindful though. Great, and then after you've done both sides, we're gonna come back to seated. We take the left heel in once again. And this time we're coming to Gomukhasan legs or cow legs. So we're taking the right foot over. So get that far first. And you might just stay here or you might Bring the right heel back and ultimately we're trying to get the knees together, but this takes time. You can grab your pillow and smoosh it underneath your buttocks for a little support. And then we'll take the hands to the soles of the feet. Loop the shoulders, inhale, big breath in. 
Exhale, big breath out. Inhale. And exhale, close your eyes for this last breath. Inhale. And exhale. Awesome, nothing fancy today, just a nice slow release. Be nice and gentle. And we'll do the other thing, uh, do the same thing on the other side. I get a little zen out when I start to breathe deeply like that. Works. Get that pranayama high. So this side is going to be different, so just check it out. Take your time. And just notice if you're new to the practice and you're like, wow, what's that? Just, just explore. Use your pillow, lift it up. It could just be here. Fingertips at your sides or palms on the soles of the feet. Here we go. Three solid breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Breathing into the sensations. After three breaths, slowly unravel. Doesn't matter which side you're facing, we're going to slowly flip onto our bellies just for one little locust variation here. So it should feel really good as you melt back onto your belly, melt back down to the earth. Press in the tops of the feet, chin comes to your yoga mat, fingertips reach towards the back edge. Nice and easy, keep your palms on the earth at first, press into the tops of the feet, anchor pubic bone to the earth and inhale, slowly begin to grow. Lifting the head, the heart, the shoulder, shoulder blades reach together. Now if you're looking forward or looking at the video, gather your bearings and then draw your chin into your chest. Press in your foundation strong, lift the kneecaps, inhale in, exhale, lift the arms if you're feeling adventurous. Big breath in, lift a little higher, and then big breath out to release everything down. Hmm. Palms come underneath the shoulders. We curl the toes under, and we press up and back to all fours. Cross the ankles, slide through, and end up on your pillow, flat back. That was a nice little gentle vinyasa. <laughs> so go ahead and get super comfy on your pillow. Pull that sucker up. If you have a blanket, you might get your blankie out here. We're gonna end with some pranayama. So go ahead and extend the legs out long. And bring the left hand to the heart and the right hand to the lower belly. Snuggle the shoulders underneath your heart space if you need to here to find space, find what feels good, and then close your eyes. You're not gonna be here long. You can be here longer if you want, if you're really feeling it. And just taking this moment to peace out a little bit, to balance the body, allow the nutrients of your practice and of your experience thus far with yoga camp to just settle in, seep into you, into your body. When you're ready, begin. If you're familiar with the three parts breath, you might consider that here, inhaling, filling the chest, then the lungs, the ribs expand, then the belly, the right hand really rises with the breath and then falls. If that's too much for you, just breathe deep. So good for the body, so excellent for the mind. Make sure you do at least five nice conscious breaths. Stay here longer if you like, if time allows. When you're ready, you might take the hands at your side for a Shavasana. I wish you the best. I wish you peace. And thank you for sharing your practice with me. Take good care. Namaste.